Father, we want to thank you. We are going deeper and deeper into very interesting seasons in the nations of the earth. Seasons that are very unpredictable. Uh, seasons that are only controlled by the deep and the Holy Spirit. Seasons when time and chance change by the flip of the hand at any time for every individual. When one second you are on top, the next second you are on the ground. Very mysterious seasons. And today I prophesy and pray for your life that the Lord will be your foundation in that deep. The Lord will be the hand that guides you in the midst of the dark hours that the seasons come, it, come with. And in the midst of the glory and the blessing and the exaltation that the season also brings. It's a season that only the Holy Spirit is in control. In today's Global Watch, I want us to pray for Kenya. Kenya's season, whether it goes forward or not, is about to be decided by the Supreme Court on Monday. The emotions are going on now, and the deep, the Spirit of the Lord is moving in the deep. Now, whether darkness overcomes light is another matter. It's what the church and the Holy Spirit worldwide and the Almighty Jehovah will have to decide in the next few days. The emotions are high in Kenya. Whether Kenya enters a new season, by a breaking away from the old into the new, the old oligarch, oligarchic houses that ruled into a new generation that is begun by a man in his jubilee in his 50s. Or we continue with the old ways by which Kenya should have been transformed, will be decided by the church in this hour. So in the name of Jesus, we invoke God's hand to take control now of Kenya that by the power of the Holy Ghost, the Spirit will bet for himself by a strong hand, not just a new leadership, but that a new wind of the Lord will blow from heaven and begin new things in Kenya through a new government, that the Lord will sit in the house and in the Spirit of each, that the Lord will sit on his throne in Kenya and decide the destiny of the church and the nation in the name of Jesus. Rabosi kere kunda ya kali kendo rosi, shila kali mahunda rikendo ye bohula hu, rahula hu rabahandi ekele. My father, don't let Kenya walk on this path alone. We join hands with the nations of the earth to ask you to, to set your headquarters. Let your spirit rest in this, that supreme court, in the houses of the supreme judges, and let your spirit for once deprive Satan of his crown, deprive darkness of their crown, Deprive those who spite you of their victory in the name of Jesus. That Lord, by their force and their power and their overwhelming noise, 
and numbers and the influence that they have built over the years in the nation. The nation shall not remain in slavery forever. Break the chains of slavery. In Kenya, break the chains of slavery. Everybody say with me, break, oh God. Break, oh God. Let everyone begin to pray right now. Break, break, break the chains of slavery. Break in the foundations. Break in the foundations. Let a new direction a new wind, a new imagination begin. Let the youths, the next generation for Africa, take over. Let the youths take over. Let's hear a new thing. Let's see a new thing. Let's not repeat the old cycles. I command and demand that. And Lord, in the midst of all this, none has ever defeated you. Are you God to contest a position with Lucifer or Satan? Has it been hard that the Lord contended, contended for a seat with Lucifer and failed? Lord, in the name of Jesus, let your stamp of authority sit in Kenya. But Lord, at the end of this prayer, not our will, but your will be done. You said we have not asked. We ask you directly, globally, before the nations of the earth. Show us your pattern of victory for Africa using the man of the East, the nation of the East, Kenya, as the example of what the future of Africa will look like by your victory in the Supreme Court on Monday. My father, I sense part of the destiny of Africa is tied to what you do in Kenya come Monday. Your proclamations to the nations. It shall not be a proclamation to, 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 to Kenya alone. As the Supreme Court judges speak, they will be speaking to the nations of the earth and particularly to Africa. They will either be proclaiming a new day for Africa or oh Lord, restoring the darkness of the past or restoring the cycles of independence from which we have not grown. My Father, let your spirit intervene and show us the way in Africa. Let Kenya be our sign. I pray you today, I pray you today, so do these families of the earth pray. And so do we decree and demand so do we ask of the God of heaven. In Jesus' name, Papa. In Jesus' name, Papa. In Jesus' name, Father. Father, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I want to read from Luke chapter 1. Pokoribosi kali hende ye handalaba. Mandiriba kanta. Every spell that is being cast at the borders of Kenya and in their rivers now, I release the power of God to neutralize that spell. And the chain that was being put on the legs to drag Kenya and hold it down today. I invoke the spirit of their rivers, the spirit of God, and the breath of God in their rivers to break those chains and destroy the pots. And Lord, I pray you, Lord, I pray you. You said you will cut off the head of the dragon, every human being that represents that dragon. Lord, if they will not let them, if they will not let go, let the ways of the spirit happen unto them as it is done in heaven. Life and death is in your hands. I invoke your power of life. And I invoke your power and your spirit of death to decide the judgments in Kenya between now and that Monday. And from Monday henceforth into the future. I release the power of life and death over Kenya. Let the Lord exercise his powers. 
to give life to a nation and by extension give life to Africa. Africa's fate, my father, waits on you. And let Kenya be the example of your new move as we have asked of you. In Yeshua's name, in that most sacred name, do we plead with you, our Father. And in all your sacred names, do we invoke your intervention in Kenya. Holy Spirit, for we do not know how to pray as we ought to, but you help at our infirmities. I beg you step into Kenya and interpret the infirmity of the poor, the downtrodden, the forgotten. Interpret it in that courtroom. Holy Spirit, there is nowhere you cannot enter. Do this for us and we'll be forever indebted to you. We will forever give you the glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. I raise an altar that will not cease to speak until Shiloh has proclaimed himself in Kenya, until the Messiah has spoken. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. In Luke chapter 1, verse 35 to 38, the angel replied to her, That's my message to Kenya and to the nations of the earth in the midst of this day. That's the word of the Lord. I hear the Lord say, I should tell you in your houses and your homes and your nations. Hear ye the word of the Lord. An angel spoke and replied to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you. Let the Holy Spirit rest upon you in your houses and homes now. And let him walk out his power of grace to dismantle and to build and to create a new world in your life and in your nation and in our lives as individuals. I say let the Holy Spirit come upon you, come upon you, come upon you. Let the Holy Spirit send you help in your houses, your homes, your jobs, let the miracle you are asking for take place. Holy Ghost, we release that strong hand that has become a buffeting spirit in that life. I break the curse and I command your healing now. And I command your promotion to come forth. I command your release. I command your doorways to open. Receive your miracle where you are. Let time stand still until your salvation is completed. Share your testimony of this goodness of the Lord in this minute and in this hour. In the name of Jesus, receive that miracle now. And in the name of Jesus, let the nation of Kenya also receive a miracle now. Let the Spirit of the Lord come upon her. The Holy Spirit will come upon you. And the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Let a Holy One be born in Kenya. Let a holy thing, a new thing be born in your own life, in your destiny, in your work, in Tanzania, in South Africa, Venezuela, Sri Lanka, Ye Rebosuka in North Africa. I saw the seed of a new thing. Let a holy one be born in South Africa, in Malawi. Ye, let the name of the Lord not go to the dust in Malawi. For his name's sake, my father, build a new altar in Malawi. 
Let your name not become a disgrace. Send the remnant that is left. In the name of Jesus Christ, even in Malawi, in Mozambique, in Namibia, Rasunta, Yekenta, in Ghana, in Cameroon, Masheke Yuka Lakura Handa, even right here in Niger Republic. And Lord, my beloved nation, Nigeria, let the Spirit of the Lord come upon her. Let a new thing begin. I prophesy that. Therefore, it is already given that the Holy One will be born in these nations. The Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God, the work of God, the hand of God. There is somebody, I don't know what has happened to your bones, whether it has folded. I see the Lord unfolding your bones. It will not repair before, but now I see the Lord repairing that bone and setting you free. Receive that warmth in your body. And let your bones from your vertebra to your legs everywhere, let them align now and heal in Jesus' name. I call that forth and command it. I see strange miracles happening just by this prayer, those under this prayer. I see circumstances being changed. I see your lives being redeemed. Receive power from on high, help from God now, 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 where you are seated. Be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Father. We give you the glory. We give you the praise. We give. We worship you, our God. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all the glory we worship you our god you are worthy to be Ask God for what you want to ask him in this atmosphere and receive the miracle for your life. For the Holy Spirit has come upon you to open that door. Just lay the thing at his feet. Touch him to heal. Ask him to heal. If you need to anoint something, anoint something. If you need to anoint a handkerchief, I release the power of God upon that handkerchief as you anoint it now. And you release it to make contact and place a demand for that miracle and receive the miracle I release the word of God in every instrument of contact you use for your miracle I release the word of God to open the gates of that miracle I command that the life you ask for into your hands now receive it as you obey the Lord right now that is a command of the spirit I had I just, heard, I just heard from him. There is a peculiar miracle coming from this broadcast. I command a lifting up in every nation that is connected in the name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody just go in the spirit and bless the Lord and just give him glory? Mondo rosekilia huria haria handieke rekondo ye sondo rosekeria hunda rabashtakalaba. Verse 36 says, And consider your relative Elizabeth. Even she has conceived a son in her old age. Africa is becoming too old. Just yesterday I was in a meeting, Bishop Kuka's 70th birthday. And somebody reminded us that in Nigeria we are 62. And one person wanted to insist we have not even started to bring and to bear the fruits we ought to bear at 62. 
Yes, we have made some progress. But we are not the giant of Africa as we ought to be. I rebuke that, 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 that leprosy in Nigeria. I rebuke the spirit that is sowing it and spreading it and holding us to that bondage of remaining present. Let the power of the Lord overwhelm them, overcome them, overtake them, overthrow them in Nigeria. In Kenya, the spirit of leprosy, the witchcraft of leprosy, plus those who control the powers of that leprosy and insist on it, I command by the word that came from the altar, let them wither now. Let that, those hands wither. Lord, those hands wither. Lord, let those hands wither. Let those hands wither. When the king went to make a strange sacrifice, a hand withered on that altar. I invoke the power of the spirit of that scripture to wither the hand of any king that stands in the way of our destiny. And to eat up that which is left of his life. I take away the veil from Africa. I fight for Africa today. I insist that Africa must be saved. I insist that these seasons for Kenya and Nigeria must pan out. I insist that 2023 in Nigeria, the elections, Rabusi Kaleba, a new thing will be ushered from heaven, will speak. The same way Elizabeth was comforted, the same way Elizabeth was remembered by the Lord, let every nation that has intercessors be remembered by the Lord. Every nation that has watchmen and every family that has a watchman in it, let favor rest upon that family. Let a new thing begin. We need to connect together, watchmen. If you can make it to our October International Conference from the 24th to the, 20, to, to the 29th, it's a five to seven, it's a five or six days conference. Join us in Kafanchan, northern Nigeria. It is safe in spite of what is happening three hours away, hundreds of kilometers away from Kafanchan. Kafanchan itself is safe. Come join the thousands of Christians and let's stand on that tower together. For during this conference, we will take a team into the tower. We will raise a cry over the world, from the world, from the, the, the Enoch Adeboe World Prayer Center, dedicated to Daddy Adeboe at his 80th birthday. We will cry from that altar, at the top of that altar, the 16th or 17th story, and we will look up to the heavens, and the Lord will hear us. Please join us for that conference. Very important. And those of you who can make it for our Rosh Hashanah meeting on the 25th, join us at the Rosh Hashanah meeting again in Kafanchan, especially if you are from within Nigeria. Listen. It's very important. God is insisting in doing, on doing a new thing in this season because the seasons of the Messiah and the fulfillment of his prophecies are upon us and upon the nations. God is not negotiating change. Change must come, whether now or later, whether violently or peacefully. And many nations are going to go through change, whether through violence or peacefully, within the next one year and a half. That means 2023. Whether by violence or peacefully, I repeat, 2023, violent change will come or peaceful changes will come because God is changing all things. I repeat, I proclaim by the Spirit of the Lord that God is making all things new again. Systems will work differently, whether for good or for bad. 
Evil will work differently. Good will work differently. Kings will rise. Mad kings will rise. And gracious, powerful men of destiny who change and create destinies, who proclaim and do new things, will also rise. Men that chance will place upon positions will rise. I release the spirit of that prophecy to fall upon you and locate you in your own place of fulfillment. That the Lord will not pass you by in this season. Whatever is supposed to come to you shall come to you in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. The Bible says, even she has conceived a son in her old age. In her old age, Nigeria is in his old age now, at 62. By 2030, Nigeria will be 70. That is old age. Old age. Even she has conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called childless. For nothing. Verse 37 will be impossible with God. So everything that has been called barren, dry, these are the moons of miracles. Let your barrenness disappear. Let the childlessness disappear. Let your seed shout out from your womb. Let the powers that shut you down move. I release the fire of God to move them out of your system and your body. And I command a new thing in your life to be bettered and your new glory to come upon you. I can feel his power here. And I can see so many miracles taking place. Within the next three months, many of you will enter into new dimensions. And please share your testimony with us because messengers are busy moving around to move your situation and change your situation. And some of you are already receiving instant miracles as you're listening and hear. And as you keep on repeating this message, miracles are multiplying in your life. Receive your miracle. And please share your testimony. Send them by email. And make a phone call. If possible, through the emails that are put on the screen. And sow a seed. For a miracle, sow a seed to the Lord in thanksgiving, even for the things he's doing, to sustain the fire and the mystery of this world, and to seal the altar of God's favor in your life. You will be instructed what to do, but listen, receive your miracle and let nothing take it away. It's a season of the miraculous. It's a season. And the main word here is for nothing will be impossible with God in this season. This is a season when God is dealing with the barren, with people who have waited for too long, old age. God is settling issues. People who are on the brink or at the brink of giving up. At the brink of a major damage. God is stretching his hand to save you. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. And verse 38 concludes it and says, I am the Lord's slave said Mary. Can you submit to the Lord to do his work in your life? I say, Lord, I lay my life at your feet. Let your will be done. I receive the miracle. Wherever you are, if you can find a small place and just fall on your face on the floor and say, Lord, here am I. Let it be unto your servant as it is spoken. And fall on your face, sit on the ground and just lift your hands up and tell the Lord, I am before you. Let it happen unto me as it is spoken in heaven. 
And when you rise up, anoint yourself with truth. And the heavens and the earth will part before you and open gates for you and change your destiny. And somebody after this meeting needs to anoint the soil of Kenya. Step out of your house, take the anointing oil, anoint the soil and decree so let it be. Let the earth rise up now to birth a new Kenya. <laughs> let the angel of the Lord settle in that Supreme Court and sit inside. Anoint the soil. And tell the Lord, let your altar sit in the Supreme Court. And let your altar monitor every wicked man. Let the serpent and the head of the scorpion and the head of the dragon be cut off. Let the waters of the dragon, which the devil has spewed out against Kenya, be swallowed by the earth. Anoint the earth and proclaim liberty. Physical ground. I'm not talking about in the spirit. When you are finished doing your own in your bedroom and anointing yourself, step out there, anoint the earth, and ask God, arise and let his enemies be scattered over Kenya. If thousands and thousands of Kenyans will do that, prayer warriors in Kenya will do that, God will overrule the voice of Satan. And the future of Kenya will open up on Monday in that Supreme Court. Whatever comes out of that Supreme Court, the Lord's will will be done. And if it is not the Lord's will, we will hear from God immediately before the end of this year. I mean, I want to repeat, we will hear from God immediately, not long from now. Because God is taking it by force. God will do a new thing. Even in Nigeria, God is going to take it by force. God is not negotiating with the times and seasons because he is God. But the church must fall down before the Lord in brokenness and humility and proclaim that they are his slaves and proclaim that his will be done and invite his will contrary to whatever preconceived ideas you already have concerning his will tell him not my ideas not my will but on your face flat on your face on the ground you will hand over the temple to fulfill his will I am the love slave, said Mary. May it be done to me according to your word. And can the people say amen with me concerning this? Father, let this altar and this word not leave us until Shiloh comes, until salvation comes, until salvation and righteousness overruns the earth and rules over it. Let the amen of this world not cease to echo in every house and nation until the miracles are proclaimed in every corridor. We receive this with thanksgiving. And I thank you, my Holy Father, for hearing the cry. The cry of the helpless through the blood of Jesus that was sacrificed to bring redemption. Thank you. Thank you. Amen. These are great seasons of grace and of the move of God as never before. You cannot be, you cannot afford to be left out of the good things that God is doing. So today, in the name of Jesus, I invite you to give your life to Jesus. And if you just want to give your life to Jesus, or you can be part of the seasons of God and the divine visitations that are taking place now, I want you to just stretch your hand towards your television and just say this prayer with me. My Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I bow my life to you. And I invite your spirit, your Holy Spirit, to take over my life and turn me into a new creature. Create a new creature within me. And remove every strange spirit out of my life. I repent of my sins. And I beg you for forgiveness. And I beg you for help. 
and I beg you for restoration. I invite you now from the place of repentance to make me a new creature and turn me into a new man and to give me back the crown of glory that Jesus died to give me and to restore back the glory of my destiny. I confess today that without you, I can do nothing. I can be nothing. Without you, I don't have eternal life. Without you, I can't survive this life. So in the name of Jesus, let your spirit transfer into my heart. Become to me my God. Let me become your son for eternity. That is the covenant I enter with you today. Thank you for hearing me. I receive you now as my personal Lord and Savior. Now arise, Lord, from within me. Let the darkness be scattered. Let me walk in the light. Let your light flow inside of me. In Jesus' name. Thank you for the peace. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Amen. Welcome home and welcome to the family of God and to the goodness of God in the seasons. And the peace of the Lord rest upon you. God bless you. And bless you.